Greetings, this is Professor Jason of Os Malandros de Mestre Toro. I'm working for the William Grant Still Center, and this is African Martial Arts. So this week, we're going to be focusing on the particular aspects of African martial arts coming out of Brazil, connected with African spirituality and African retention, African resilience, and African revolution. So coming out of the area of Brazil, I want to go back to our maps. So let's take a look here at our map. And once again, we see that there are many different African people groups coming from the Western region of the continent of Africa during the transatlantic enslavement. As we look here, we see various people groups. When I say people groups, what I'm saying, these are what many people would identify as tribes, also ethnic groups. When we see the kingdom of uh, Congo, Luanda, areas of Dahomey, Benin, the Yoruba, Akan, and we can see, as we talked about before, that to Brazil alone, there was almost 5 million Africans that were forcibly taken to Brazil. So as these Africans arrive in places like Brazil in particular, we can see that within Brazil alone, there were uh, the ethnic group of the Yoruba, we talked about them earlier as being Nago, Dahomey, and the Ewe, Fon, also, we see the Bantu, Kikongo, also Mandinga from the area of Mali, Sierra Leone, Senegal, the Hausa from the northern area of Nigeria, the Fanti and Ashanti coming from the area of Ashantiland, now known as Ghana, and the Bantu Congo people of the Congo region. It's important to make note of these, these ideas and of these ethnic groups because when we speak of capoeira, even the word capoeira is, some say that it is a Kikongo term, that it comes from Congo language. So when we look at this, the spiritual system known as candomblé, Candomblé is a combination of various ethnic groups that were oppressed by the white supremacist power structure known as the Portuguese. And these Africans and also indigenous people came together formulating a spiritual system where African people utilized not only the Orisha, but spiritual technology, herbology, medicine as a means of resistance to fight against the white power structure. When we think about this, candomblé, capoeira, and samba, these various African systems were utilized as, as I said before, as a form of resistance, resilience, retention, and as Africans utilized candomblé and capoeira, samba, all of these things, they did so also within a particular place and structure, and that is the Quilombos. The Quilombos are actually, the, the name, the or, origin of this name is even debated to be a Kikongo word that means Quilombo or war camp. And basically this was an area where African people who were once enslaved were able to have refuge and asylum. And they were able to find themselves in the war camp and establish culture, maintain their spiritual system, maintain some sense of sanity. And these Quilombos uh, were a place where African people 
in Brazil were able to maintain themselves. And when they maintained themselves, many times, many of these quilombos also fought wars, fought many battles against the Portuguese. And the way that these African people were able to maintain themselves, defend themselves, was through the use of capoeira and also the science, the spiritual science of candomblé and so many other things. When we think of Quilombo, we want to think of Ganga Zumba, one of the great leaders of Quilombo, of the Quilombo dos Palmares, of Palmares. And when we think of Ganga Zumba, we also must think about the great, great capoeirista and warrior king known as Zumbi. These great men and women emerged as liberators and individuals who fought for our sanity, for our sense of self, and for our identity, utilizing the art of capoeira and also utilizing the spiritual science of candomblé. So with that, this week, we will be focusing on a combination or sequencia of movements. And those movements today are going to be Quere Chicuato, falling on all fours, and Matelo y Chapa. So fall on all fours as you evade or escape the movement, and then you attack back with Matelo y Chapa. So I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Obrigado. These are the movements of Kerji Cuato, Matelo y Chapa. So the Kerji Cuato is an esquive to get out of the way, and then you come back with the Matelo and the Chapa. From the side, Kerji Cuato, Martelo. Good job.